Hey y'all, let's check out Silent Melody. Hey y'all, so today we're going to be looking around another really, really beautiful land. This land is very, very fall, very, very festive, if I might say so myself. So there are a lot of different parts to this, um, and we're going to just check out a few. If you're new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. I am shy in Second Life, and on this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life, and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So when I panned out, this land did seem quite large. I like that this is like a big kind of dance floor and then they have the little romantic couple um, like seating over here. Now this land does have a very romantic um, vibe. I am in the shared environment. I don't know if I said that or not. I don't know. Y'all being followed around by this guy. He seems like a really nice guy, but he's like, oh, can I explore with you? I'm like, oh, I do videos, so. I stop a lot and he's like oh, okay and then every place I will walk he will walk and be like super fucking close to me and I'm like okay um are you gonna keep following me like this closely my thing is if you want to follow me around I cannot stop you from doing that I can't stop you from doing anything in second life you're controlling your avatar I don't have any say so in that but um he was like super close and i'm like i'm telling you that i do videos i have it in my profile so it's not like i'm hiding it if you read my profile it's a link right there he's like oh i love videos and pictures too and i'm like yeah it's a really big thing in second like he seems like a really nice guy but i'm not exactly the look how beautiful this is i'm not exactly the person to want to tour with because like I was telling him I stop a lot I stop a lot and I look at a lot of different things and I'm not going to be able to chat with him and stuff like that so he seems like a really really nice guy but I'm just like unfortunately this is a bad time a really bad time because I'm not going to be able to really be interactive with someone other than you guys right now so he be aight but um this land it feels very romantic very very coupley it's a beautiful fall themed land i really really like that i also love the sky the sky gives it a very like mesmerizing type feel and i do really like that so there are quite a few um, different elevations on this land and I like that as well although the land did look large when I panned out I do like that they have like some twisty parts some stairs and little things like that that you can kind of walk up to kind of make you feel like you're on a land that's a little larger than what it actually is even though in my opinion it looked pretty large it did look pretty large these pumpkins are so pretty with these flowers I love the fall colors oh this space feels very like it's given like royal kind of you know and i do like that it's been a while since we ventured around like a palace it's so crazy because i look back um sometimes i'll go back and i'll kind of watch videos um that i had made like before i started doing like the tour style videos and can i open this door okay and it's so crazy because the formatting was so different. I was so hell bent on making it not look like I was in Second Life when I really was in Second Life. So I did a lot, lots of cuts and things like that, lots of edits. And so the videos were shorter, but they kind of read like a picture show. And that was the one thing that I didn't like about the videos is that I didn't want it to look like everything was just like still shots. And that's the way that I was doing it initially. This is a really cute cafe. We're not gonna go crazy at the cafe. Well, I promise, I promise. We'll do a quick once over. You guys, you know I'm a sucker for some food in Second Life. So I thought it was really um, nice to be able to just look and see the, um, the progression over time it hasn't even been a year and i see such great progression over time um regarding just my recording style and it was a bit nostalgic i did i did like 
being able to look back we saw this on a different land on the Evergarden land I'll put a card up it's just like it's nice to get to kind of just like see where you're coming from in the progression and then it gives you lots of different ideas on what else you can do to try to you know just up the ante on your content and I really did like that she has some shifty eyes I think that this is so funny I'm like they should have put somebody in front of her she's like hmm what would you like yeah I'm like they should have put somebody else in front of her so it'd be at least be like she's looking at somebody but I guess if you were role playing and you were standing there then she would be looking at you so this is a really nice um, sitting area. I love that the spaces that you go into, um, well this space at least, it has lots of glass. So it's like you're on the inside but you still have like an outside concept to it and I do like that. They have this really nice hot chocolate. I do believe that this is a moderate land. I didn't check. I didn't check. I do believe that it is a moderate land. Most of the lands that we venture to, I saw a horse out here most of the lands that we will venture around they are moderate lands so they're pretty open to everyone i rarely come across um lands that are adult i just rarely do and it makes sense because a lot of people have kids and so look how pretty this is I would assume that people want to be able to find places that they can take their children to in Second Life and this would be a perfect spot to do that. Oh, I hope she's not over here taking pictures because I promise I'm coming over here. I don't know what's behind, beyond this, but I do want to see. Okay. Oh, this is where the little horsies were. Okay. We don't have to spend a lot of time over here. I'm trying to get better, you guys, at just kind of not spending so much time on each and every part no matter how much i want to because i don't want these videos to run super long and i do kind of want to give you guys like a nice glimpse um in one video you know what i'm saying so we don't have like 55 parts to the video like nice one video that kind of gives you a nice little overview like i said we come across a land that's just too damn big for one video then there'll be two videos he looks tired he said look i'm i'm tired what, what you want i get home to my family i'm tired you want a pizza pick it quickly pick it quickly so i love that off to like the side of the huge house that we just looked at they have like a nice common area that's Pizza looks super good so they have this huge common area where you can come pictures would be amazing here absolutely amazing can we go into this taylor mm -hmm. i love this so i do like that they give you a lot of different picture opportunities and picture ideas so like this would be a nice place um that you can go to to kind of just like role play go into a tailor or have the picture seen that way i think that's really really nice dang that's expensive 12.95 for what so i really like these very dapper suits in the window really really like that so yeah, I'm like, let me get better at staying on, on staying on track. There are always so many things that I want to look at and I want to take you guys with me every single place that I go. So in order for me to do that, I have to be more mindful of how I am recording because I don't want y'all to be like, again, we back at this place again it's like no 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 hear me out hear me out we're gonna be at another place lilu changed the up up and away land i'll go ahead and put a card up to that land and now it is a boo fest and if you think we're not gonna check it out you're crazy because we are we're definitely gonna check it out oh we're definitely definitely gonna check it out look at these leaves i cannot wait to go and check it out i might check it out today because i'm super excited I'm super excited about it so at first I wasn't sure if Lilo's lands were like always um seasonal but now I know they are they're quite seasonal and they even go into like the different holidays and stuff like that which I really really like 
So now I can very confidently say that we are full force into the Halloween season in Second Life. Bunches and bunches of spooky Halloween places, plus a lot of nice um, fall lands that um, they are being advertised now. And I'm really, really excited about that. What's down here? So yeah. We have lots of cool places to be able to go and see. Is that cat stretching? Adorable. So I'm like, okay, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna now have to really kind of like maneuver correctly so that we see everything that I want us to see and be able to really explore. Look how pretty this is. So beautiful. It's like a little gondola full of flowers. Oh, and then it is fruit. I love this. It's all the cats for me. Look at that water. Mm hmm. I like that the shared environment has, it has a very calming yet kind of grim type feel with it, with the shared environment. I love all the cats. I really do. I love all the cats. Look at these leaves. Beautiful. Oh, fall and winter and second life top tier because 99% of the time it's summer. So I really, really appreciate when the seasons change in second life and everybody kind of jumps on board with it. We saw this tractor on the video not too far back, this one is like red, very, very nice. I love the little pumpkin patch that they have over here. And then more seed, I think this is the seeding space that we saw just from a different angle. Yep, this one we already saw. So I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogtober. I'm having a ball showing you guys all of these places. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.